As a course creator or membership site owner, if you don't have a process for consistently attracting new email subscribers to your list, you will struggle to grow your business and have the impact that you want. Now, building an email list that's fully aligned with your core offers is one of the key skills that every online business owner needs to master. In fact, I would say it's the number one thing that holds people back when it comes to building a profitable, stress-free online business. Now, in this video, I'm gonna break down a simple front-end lead generation funnel. I'll describe each step in the funnel and the key to success for each step, as well as the technology stack that you need to support you. Now, if you're just starting out with lead generation, this video will give you a massive head start, cutting out hours and hours of pain, frustration, and wasted time, you know, and more importantly, money. And it'll give you a proven framework to apply quickly and easily in your business today. Now, if you're already, you know, have your lead generation process up and running, this video will give you an opportunity to review your funnel and identify the key areas that you need to optimize to reduce your cost per lead, increase your conversion rate, and increase your revenue per lead. Hey, it's Michal here from Lead to Launch, where we help course creators and membership site owners build profitable lead generation processes and create purpose-driven, life-changing paydays through online launches. Now, and if you hang around to the very end of this video, I'm going to share one simple tweak that you can make which will massively increase the value of the leads that you generate. And remember, if you're new to the channel, please do hit subscribe, ring the bell, and don't miss out on my weekly videos where I talk about lead generation, traffic, and launch strategies. Oh, and make sure to drop into the comments. Let me know the biggest challenge that you have with lead generation. I'd love to hear from you and I'll answer every single question posted. Okay, let's get down to business. Now we're gonna start off today with a simple lead generation funnel and over the coming weeks, I'm gonna expand on this model and introduce more complex funnels. But in order to do that, we have to have a solid foundation in place. So for the purposes of today's video, we're gonna look at the three phases and that's the traffic phase, the capture phase and the engage phase. So let's jump on screen and look at the entire funnel before I break it down to its component parts. So once we have our funnel ready to go, the very first thing we, we need to do is start driving traffic to it. So phase one is the traffic phase. This is such an important step because we have to ensure that we're driving the right people at the right time at the right price. Now this brings us to phase two and phase two is the capture phase. The goal here is to convert the traffic into subscribers and to get the subscriber's email address over to our email provider. Now unfortunately, this is where most people's lead generation strategy ends. And having reviewed hundreds of funnels, it's very often the single biggest point of failure I see. So for me, phase three, the engage phase, is the most important part of your lead generation funnel. And I'll break down why and exactly what you need to do in this video. Okay, so now that we've broken down, you know, the high level funnel, let's dive into each section and look at the key components and your focus for each. So phase one is traffic. Now we can break your lead generation traffic sources into four primary channels. We've got our paid traffic, our search traffic, our JV traffic, and social traffic. Now, one of the big traffic sources missing from this list is email. If you have a new lead magnet, I think it's a great idea to share it with your existing email list. In fact, doing so and getting to the opt-in again is a great re-engagement st strategy to keep them warm. And it'll also give you some great segmentation data, which will also identify your most committed subscribers. However, as we're speaking specifically about lead generation, I'm gonna exclude email from our traffic sources for today. Now, when it comes to developing your traffic source strategy, I think the worst thing that you can do is try to implement all four at once. The real results come when you master a channel. And by real results, I mean attracting email subscribers who go on to become repeat customers over a long time frame at the right price. Mastery only comes through intense focus over a stained period of time. So I really want you to get specific and intentional on the strategies that you adopt here. So channel one is paid traffic. Now this may be in the form of Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, TikTok ads, and maybe to a lesser extent, Twitter, LinkedIn, Bing, Yahoo ads. Now the great thing about paid traffic is that you get immediate feedback and you also can get a volume of consistent traffic which enables you to optimize your landing page. In addition, you can get almost instantaneous results and you're in full control of both how much you spend and by extension, the number of leads that you generate. Now, on the downside, it can be tough to break into this channel, especially on mature platforms like Facebook and Google where there's strong competition and you'll be pitched against some experienced advertisers. Each platform has its own approach and best practices which need to be observed to get results and there's a steep learning curve. Plus, mistakes can be costly and they can add up quickly over time. 
My key piece of advice here is to invest in education and mentorship early in play. I very often think that until you have a funnel that's converting reasonably well and your ad spend is at least $150 per day, you shouldn't approach an agency to run your ad. But engaging a mentor will help you get to the point, you know, this point so much faster and it'll teach you so much about your offer and how to write copy that converts. Now channel two is search traffic. By search traffic, I'm predominantly talking about SEO in the form of written blogs and videos on YouTube. Now Google and YouTube are number number one and two search engines in the world. Um, But this is very much a long-term play. You have to commit to this process in timeframes of years instead of weeks and months. It can take even the best in the business up to six months to see any sort of reward from either of these channels. Now, does this mean that it isn't worth doing? Hell no. Some of the big benefits of SEO is that once the initial work is done, it doesn't cost any more to keep generating leads. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't an initial investment, nor does it mean that once you publish a post or record a video, you can just forget about it and it'll keep bringing you in new leads every day. However, over longer timeframes, the ROI from SEO will far outstrip the ROI from paid traffic. Um, and when it comes to you know, blogging and YouTube, one of the best strategies you can follow is to be very specific in the topics you cover and to niche down on who you're speaking to and the topics you cover. Um, above all else, consistency is keys, key. So one piece of quality content a week is all you need to make this strategy work, but you need to deliver it once a week and have your time frame set out to a period of years rather than weeks and months. Now, channel three is social traffic. Here I'm talking about Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Facebook. Now, obviously there are hundreds more out there, but they're some of the main ones. Um, the four biggest networks are Facebook with 2.5 billion monthly users, Instagram at 1.5 billion users, TikTok at 1 billion monthly users, and Twitter, 460 monthly users, Pinterest at 431 monthly million active users. Now, each network has its own process for growing your network and you know, organically tr- or, and through paid methods. As networks get more mature and attract more users, it gets more difficult to grow organically. And that's why I'm so excited about TikTok at the moment. TikTok has become the most popular website in the world, taking the title from Google, which held the crown for the previous 11 years. Now, no matter which social channel you choose, make sure that you fully understand the native growth practices and create content to suit the specific platform. Once you start building your audience, you'll then need to develop specific strategies to drive people from the platform to your opt-in page. And herein lies one of the biggest challenges with building an audience on social. There's a very fine line that needs to be tread between entertaining, providing value, and making asks of your network to perform some you know, form of action like visiting a landing page. It's important to get into an established cadence and get people used to asks without overdoing it. But one of the best ways that you can find this balance is by turning everything into a conversation and by truly engaging with your audience. Now, one of the things that will help you massively with building your social traffic is scheduling apps like Later, Loomly, Meet Edgar, Planable, and Hootsuite. Now, I've used all these tools and they all have their strengths and weaknesses and far too many to go in on this video. You know, none of them will integrate with all the platforms and even within the platforms that they do integrate with, some formats are not available to post. So the first protocol is to sit down and figure out your primary platforms and the type of posts that you want to do. Channel four is JV traffic. Now, JV traffic can be one of the most powerful and quickest ways to build your list. Most JV partners, especially those with bigger lists, they know the ROI of each email they send. And very often there's going to have to be a financial incentive for them to email their list unless you have a personal relationship with them. This is why JV traffic, you know, kind of source is best used for list building on the front end of a promotion or launch. However, if you invest in building your network and you have, you know, something of true value, which will appeal to somebody's audience, it could be possible to convince them to mail for you. It's absolutely essential if they do, however, that your landing page is proven to convert. Ideally, if you were getting a JV involved, you will first have run traffic to the page in the form of paid advertising and you'll have hit a conversion rate of at least 50 plus percent from cold traffic. The second thing that you need to make sure is that you have some mechanism for reporting back to the JV the number of visitors, subscribers and conversion rates from their traffic. You can either do this through affiliate links uh, or providing them with unique landing pages where the only traffic to that landing page is from them. Now phase two is the capture phase. 
The key to success in phase two is creating a landing page that converts. Now to discover how you can do that, I have an entire video on the components and layout of a landing page, which you can check out on the screen and now. And I'll also include a link to it in the description. As a high level overview, there's only about five key components of a landing page. You've got the headline, the subhead, the image, the body copy, and the call to action, which is possibly one of the most important elements. Now, in order to deliver your landing page, you're gonna need some description of page builder or landing page builder. To start with, you could go with WordPress or whatever your website is built in. Now, I love building landing pages in WordPress. You know, you have the ultimate freedom to design it in whichever way you want. Um, and this is made especially easy if you use a, a, a builder called Elementor, which is a plugin for WordPress. Elementor is a drag and drop builder for WordPress, which makes it super easy for even inexperienced designers to build custom designed pages in WordPress. Now, despite how easy Elementor makes it, there's still a learning curve. And that's why lots of people go with option two here, which are specialist landing page builders. The two best known and most widely used options, um, especially amongst course creators and membership site owners, are called ClickFunnels and Lead Pages. Now, ClickFunnels specializes in the building of marketing funnels. They have a lot of pre made templates and funnel flows to get you started. Again, they're a drag and drop builder with a much easier learning curve than Elementor. However, the trade off is the cost. With ClickFunnels, there's a monthly fee of either 97 or 297 per month. Now, I'm a huge fan of ClickFunnels, especially when it comes to more complex funnels where you're going to have you know, upsells and order bumps and downsells. Plus, the content that you get once you're a member within ClickFunnels really helps you in putting your, your funnel designing, planning, and implementation. The next major platform is Lead Pages. Lead Pages has all the functionality that you need to deploy high converting landing pages. Again, Lead Pages is a drag and drop builder. It's so easy to use and understand. Most people can get up and running with Lead Pages, you know, after just an hour or two or playing around with the builder. You are a little bit more limited with your design options in Lead Pages, and it certainly isn't without its like quirks. However, it's a solid option and one that I've used many times to deploy fast loading, good looking, and most importantly, high converting landing pages. Once somebody opts into your landing page, they should be redirected to a thank you page. Now your thank you page is a hugely important part of the process and is often a missed opportunity to start building rapport and the foundations that somebody needs to make the step from email subscriber to paying customer. So what are some of the elements that we should have on our landing page? Well, number one is video. Record a video telling them that you have sent them an email with the link to the lead magnet and that the email should be with them in the next 10 minutes. But in the meantime, here's a quick bonus. And what you say is, I'm going to share with you three keys to X, Y, Z. So, you know, X, Y, Z is some topic that's aligned with the lead magnet. Then give them five to seven minutes of your very best content that's aligned with, with the lead magnet. At the end of the video, tell them to go find the email, you know, from you and clearly tell them your name and the email address as it appears in the email delivering your lead magnet. As you're signing off, ask them a question and tell them to reply to that email you know, that's been sent to them containing the lead magnet. Now, when, you know, your phones become more complex, this video can be used and adapted to many different purposes. Um, but in addition to the video, I would also place written instructions on the thank you page asking people to find the email, you know, from your name, your email address, address whitelist and drag that email to their inbox, hit reply and answer the question that you asked in your video. This will instantly set you apart from all the other people whom they've subscribed to. This will you know, build rapport, build connection, and it will ensure that your future emails are far more likely to be delivered into their inbox. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to phase three, which is the engage phase. And oh boy, is this a forgotten part of the lead generation funnel. You know, you spend all that time and effort and energy creating your lead magnet, building your landing page, launching your Facebook ad, battling to get your cost per lead down. Then somebody opts in and they get an email with a link to download the lead magnet and that's it. You know, next thing they get dumped straight into your weekly email campaign. This is such a costly mistake. So many people get pissed off with Facebook saying, oh, it sent them crap leads. And when often what happened is that when they landed in your email platform, they were neglected and, you know, they disengaged with you before you had a chance to nurture them properly and, and put an offer in front of them. You need to have a nurture or indoctrination sequence in place that people are automatically sent, you know, across the seven to 10 days after you opt in. Now, the purpose of this sequence is to build rapport, 
Give them insights into you, your business, your passion, your methodology. And remember, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. You want to inspire people and show them that you're not just another, you know, faceless marketer who's out to make a quick book. You're committed to the cause of making their life better and others just like them. This is a great opportunity to share your very best content and to make the best possible impression. Now, in addition to sending the lead magnet, why not follow up with an additional surprise and send them a high value, you know, related or follow on download. Make them feel really special and show them that you over deliver and you go over and above what you promise. Creating this impression will serve you in the long run, plus you're upping the levels of reciprocity and building a deeper level of connection. Now, in order to do all this, you need to have an efficient and automated way that you're going to, you know, you're going to need an email platform to support you to do it. When it comes to email platforms, there's lots of different options and lots of different price points. Now, as a course creator and membership site owner, some of the key things that you're looking for in your platform are the ability to build automations, clear and visually intuitive campaign builder, the ability to tag and segment users without using lists, an intuitive email builder, a platform that has good native integrations for the likes to say WordPress or maybe your members area and all the other online tools that you use and possibly even more importantly, an integration with Zapier. You know, then you want to have a solid and easy to configure and deep reporting on subscribers, their action and actions taken by those subscribers. Now with this in mind, I've picked out three platforms, which depending on the stage you're at in your business and your appetite for rolling up your sleeves and figuring out you know, the platform will suit you best. Okay, so level one. If you're just starting out and you want something that's quick and easy to get up and running, intuitive to use, and also has the capacity to deliver you know, a full-on launch, then ConvertKit is my go-to platform. ConvertKit has been, you know, become hugely popular over the past number of years, and they are continuing to develop and add features to their platform all the time. They have a great feature set, including landing pages, email sign-up forms, drag, drag and drop email builder, e-commerce, automations. The ConvertKit platform is only going in one, in one direction, and I love how simple it is to use. Level two is ActiveCampaign. ActiveCampaign has become one of the most popular platforms in the course creator and membership site space. So they have advanced feature set um, and will serve the needs of most launchers and you know, with landing pages, e-commerce, drag and drop email builder, marketing automation, sales automation, and lead scoring. Now there's a little bit more figuring out with Active Campaign. However, you're rewarded for that effort with the ability to build complex and you know, launch and automated sales campaigns. Now level three is Keep, which is formerly known as Infusionsoft. Now I'm not gonna lie to you here, there's a lot to get your head around in Keep. You know, there are people who have been using it for years and they're still finding new features or new ways of doing things. There's a really steep learning curve and you know, more than likely you will need some level of training and support when you're onboarding with them. However, the reason why this is the case is also the reason why I love Keep so much. Bottom line, if you can imagine it, you can build it in Keep. It's a full business automation platform featuring sales and marketing automation, CRM, sales pipeline, e-commerce and subscriptions, reporting and analytics, email marketing, and even text message marketing. So the campaign builder gives you so much flexibility to build highly complex, you know, an integrated launch and follow-up campaigns all in the all in the one place without having, you know, kind of multiple sequences and campaigns set up. So if you're willing to put the effort into learning how to use the platform, you will definitely be rewarded for your efforts. Okay, so that's an overview of sales funnel number one, which is your email list building funnel. Now over the coming weeks, I'm gonna bring you through a number of other funnels, including you know, adding in additional features and possibilities for your business. Now at the start of this video, I promised I would share one simple tweak which you can make to massively increase the value of every lead you generate. And I'll give you that in one second, but before I do, I want to recap on what we've covered today. So there's three phases in your email list building funnel. Phase one is your traffic. This includes your paid, search, social, and JV traffic. Phase two is your capture phase. In this phase, you know, we use our opt-in page to capture people's email address and then the thank you page to really kick, kick off and kickstart our engagement process. We then enter phase three, which is the engage phase, engage phase. In the engage phase, we start building connection, reciprocity, and positioning your new leads so they're ready to take the next step when you make that offer to them. Okay, so now for the bonus session. 
One of the issues with lead generation is that lots of our emails go to spam and promotion folders. And despite our best efforts, a good percentage of people who opt in will never ever open our email. In essence, this means that despite having paid to get somebody onto our list, we now fail to get any return on that investment. And this kind of pisses me off. So here's one thing that you can do. Set up a free you know, front end Facebook group. Try to have one Facebook group that can cover all your lead magnets so that you can leverage it on all your front end funnels. Then on your thank you page, just under your video, place a big button offering people the opportunity to join your community and get an additional item of value when they join the group. This will give you the opportunity to test and sample the quality of your leads. Uh, you know, and as there's still organic reach within Facebook groups, it means that your future offers will be visible to the group members. It also gives you an opportunity to build an even deeper relationship with your new leads, which in the long run will lead to even more sales and an even stronger community. Okay, so now that you know the phases of your email list building funnel, you're probably going to want to take a deeper dive into lead generation. So make sure you check out the videos linked on screen for lots more on how to get started with lead generation and how to design landing pages that convert. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to click that subscribe button, ring the bell, give me a thumbs up. And even more importantly, please do scroll down, leave me a comment, tell me what your plans for your next email list building funnel are. See you in the next video.